I'm actually gonna open the window. Cause it's dead hot in here. Let's go. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna be filming a Q&A for you. Um, I asked you over on Twitter to say to my Curious Cat account to ask me questions, so I thought, I'm gonna put something together. A few of them um, haven't come from there because not many people ask questions because they don't want to know me, which I'm not surprised about. But um, there's a couple of questions that I've kind of picked up off the internet and whatnot. But I feel like some of them are going to be quite funny. So, so the first question is, do you ever get girls to be mean to you? And honestly, the answer is no. Um, I don't really seem to get much negativity from it, if that makes sense. I tend to keep myself to myself and not involve myself with um, loads of drama. It's just not what I'm about now. Um, whereas like last year I was like, oh yeah, I love drama, but now I'm like, no, unless I've got an issue. And I don't cause issues, so. <laughs> Second question is, what makeup palette do you really want right now? And to be honest, there's loads that I want. Um, I would really like to get a couple of Morphe palettes because I haven't owned a Morphe palette and I really want to see if it's like worth the hype, if that makes sense. So I want to try them. I also want to try the Huda Beauty palette because my gal Shawnee loves it and I really want to try it. <laughs> so there's those two and then obviously the Anastasia Modern Re Renaissance palette. Sorry if I've said that wrong, but uh Okay. <laughs> Number four was actually one that I got sent. Um, the other two were, but this one was really interesting and it was, guy offers, you, offers to get you a drink at the bar, what would you choose? Um, I got really confused about this question. I thought like, what would you do? As in like, would you accept? Would you decline kind of thing? Um, so if he did offer me, if he was like, oh, come get a drink, I'd be like, no, I've got a boyfriend. <laughs> but if, it was like what drink I would have, it'd be gin and lemonade, because that is my jam. My drink. I love it. <laughs> Number five, what's something you hide about your personality? And to be honest, um nothing. I mean, I'm a lot more reserved on YouTube now because I still get really nervous and I feel like once I've like got comfortable in front of the camera and um, just comfortable because I just feel like uncomfortable like I'm trying to be me but I'm like I don't know it's really weird but um, if you meet me in person all my friends I know that I'm kind of you know I'm very black and white I don't hide anything because I don't see the point like I'm happy with the way that I am like as a person so why would I hide stuff? I don't need to because I'm happy with myself. I'm happy with the way that I am. Number six, what motivates you in life? And I thought I was going to be really soppy and probably cry because I'm really emotional at the minute. But my mum is like my biggest motivation. My mum is the only reason that I do everything that I do. I, you know, want to be in a position to be able to give back everything that she's given me. Like she is my gal. Like she's literally amazing. So yeah, she is my biggest motivation in life. Um, number seven is, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you choose and why? So I have always wanted to move to Australia. I know that's really generic, you know, British girl wants to move to Australia, tell me something new. But um, I really want to go there. Or um, for a bit when I was younger, I really wanted to move to Italy because Italy to me is like such a pretty place. I was gonna say city then, but I was like, no, Italy's not a city. You fucking idiot. <laughs> so yeah, um, Australia and possibly America. I mean, obviously when Trump's not in control of everything, but yeah, those two places. Um, number eight is, what is your opinion on school? And this is such a weird question that I got sent because I, I'm currently not trying to like mother my brother but like I'm trying to push him in the right direction and telling him like how important school is and all of that and to be honest like I never got on a, I never ever got on well at school like I never got it I never really got on with any of my teachers I didn't like school like as an experience um so I mean school isn't everything but it'll help you get to where you want to be quicker because so I really wanted to go to university 
but because I came out of school with no GCSEs, I think the only GCSE I got a C in was RS and that's like a matter of an opinion. Um, everything else I got like a D and below and I like cried my eyes out. I remember like I got my exam results, I was like, mum, what the hell am I gonna do? Like, I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanna do. I'm not gonna be able to go to university, that kind of thing. Um, so I had to do a foundation course of art and design because I wanted to, I think I wanted to do art, but it was more like fashion. Um, so I had to do a foundation course to then get onto the fashion course to then be able to go to university. Like I, if I came out of school, with what I wanted to do and the grades I wanted, I would have got there quicker. I kind of went on a bit of a tangent there, but my opinion of school is it's not the end of the world, but do well because it helps. It's not there for it. It's not there to be pointless, if you know what I mean. Number nine is how tall are you? And the last time I got measured and they told me I was five, six and a half. So I'm quite tall, I'm quite tall. I wish I was smaller though. I wish I was like five, three, because five, three people are really cute and they're like, I'm so tiny and I'm like, yeah. And I had a really bad growth spurt, like in high school, like I was one of the tallest people, but then it got to like year 10 and then everyone grew and now I'm just kind of in the middle. I'm your average now. Number 10. Now, this got sent to me and it's not one of the one of the ones I picked out, like all the boring ones are the ones I picked out. <laughs> um, but number 10 is, would you ever strip or pose naked for a magazine? Now, no. Is my answer now but when I was like 14 15 I was obsessed with Jordan as in like Katie Price like when she was married to Peter Andre and they had this massive life and they had that TV show like I wanted to be the new Katie Price like I wanted to be a glamour model I wanted to be all of that and, and I read all of her books and I idolized her so much but then she split up with Pete and I was a bit like no you know just not anymore but no the answer is no now but when I was younger, I wanted to be a glamour model, but I don't want to anymore. That's not gonna be my path of life, shall I say. But yeah, <laughs> there, I just thought I'd do like a couple of questions, get to know me a bit more, and so I can get a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera and all of that. Um, I'm surprised my eyelashes haven't fallen off. My hay fever is bad today, like bad. I had my windows closed to begin with, because I was like, oh, it's gonna get really hot, because my ring light, literally, I sweat so much underneath it. Okay, I glitchy. Um, but yeah, so I had to open my windows and my eyes are streaming so much. I really should have taken my tablet this morning. But anyway, I'm going to shut up and I will see you in my next video.